passes at West Virginia's Geno Smith, who had an excellent college career. The Mountaineers on first down run the ball, and there's nowhere to go. Justin Crawford wrapped up by true freshman Joe Jackson, who has had a spectacular second half of the season for the Kane. Plenty of time at 10. And Howard to throw, flushed out of the pocket. And he's going to keep turning it upfield and getting a first down. He fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Miami on the 40-yard line. It's recovered by Kendrick Norton. Just a great hit on Skyler Howard. Chad Thomas, number nine, getting in there, putting his shoulder pad right on the football to force an early turnover. Had a long layoff as a ball carrier. Running backs, quarterbacks, got to make sure your fundamentals are good after the long layoff after the regular season. But Manny Diaz, he says, we're ready. We're fired up here at Miami. Howard in trouble. Boy, that looked awkward. Somebody blew that play as Quarterman gets the tackle up. I wonder if that was just supposed to be a straight handoff there to Crawford, although it looks like Howard's upset with the officials, actually. That was really unusual. The only guys that really got going were the right side of the offensive line, Howard, and the fence, because it forces his eyes to come down. Fellas, they lost nine yards on that play. Now Howard in trouble again, just trying to hold on to the ball, and he's sacked. Portel Jenkins with his first sack of the season. They lose another 13 yards here. Luke, you like that defensive line for Miami? Oh, they are big, long, and you're right. Big number seven, he's got to be get his conditioning. Big 92, you see. I mean, this looks like early, early 90s, late 80s, a younger version of those Miami Hurt. I think he can get to seven or eight wins every year. Really? He's very creative. And can they get the players open? Game, and Skylar Howard's been a part of the run game. Here's Russell Shell. Oh! Hammered in the backfield by Michael Pinckney. One of the three true freshman linebackers for Miami that we're going to be talking about if they all stay for the next few years. They make some mistakes. But plays like that show you what kind of talent they have. Bad snap ball on the ground and the knee down so the play is over. Never give the ball away. Plus 21 altogether in turnover margin. Oh, that one was nearly picked off on the screen. McLeod dropped the ball. Otherwise, he's got a house call. No wonder you don't see that more often on those wide receiver screens. It's a far throw for Skyler Howard to make from the opposite hash, trying to throw it to the numbers on the right side. Can oftentimes be a wounded duck. Kaya has a completion. To Chris Herndon, and there's their first real first down. You would have said something, Julio, on the second one, I guarantee you. Okay. Howard keeps it. Boy, he just got out of the end zone. Chad Thomas had him at the goal line. Holgerson had his back turned to the play, just started walking away. He's already at the 40 yard line of Miami territory. He wanted to see nothing there. Very, very close to having to punt from your own one yard line. Chad Thomas. Beats the tight end inside with 13 passing. But they're only down seven and they got great field position. He'll throw it here, dumping it off to true freshman Richards. Amon Richards inside the 30. Richards past the 20. Heading for the pylon. Touchdown, Miami. He broke Michael Irvin's freshman receiving record, led all freshmen in the country in receiving yards. He's over 900 now in the season. That's his third touchdown. When you bring pressure defensively, there's not a lot of guys in the back end. So if a guy misses a tackle, you're in trouble. How about Stacy Coley, the senior, getting a great block? When there's pressure brought by West Virginia, you have isolations in the back end. And it becomes very difficult, and you have to be very good tackling in space. Right there, Rasul Douglas, the best corner on the field for West Virginia. Gets beat on a little hitch route, doesn't want to give up the deep ball. Doesn't make the tackle, and Amon Richards goes out the gate. But Holgerson, 
is just livid with his quarterback. But when the quarterback's looking at his wristband, he's saying, I don't know if I called the right play. Jackson, too, who he held. Jackson has been in the backfield a bunch today. Speaking of being in the backfield, my goodness. Zach McLeod mauls Justin Crawford. The moment he accepted the handoff. This Miami defense does such a good job of forcing negative plays. McLeod sees the handoff immediately, puts that right foot in the ground all over him tonight. Vote of the team MVP as Kaya throws. My goodness, Coley wide open inside the 40 and keeps his balance to pick up additional yardage. Great effort by Coley to the 28 yard line. It's a 30 yard pickup for the Canes. More pressure for West Virginia means isolation on the outside. A nice post corner. Three steps inside, four steps. Second and two. Walton, beautiful move. Walton to the outside, stiff arming, and finally wrapped up around the five yard line out of bounds by Douglas. It'll be first and goal after the 16 yard run by Walton. I told you he's one of the most underrated players in college football. The jump cut, nothing there. Quick little receiver, which I love, of course, as a quarterback. 26 catches on the year coming in. Kaya back in the end zone. Touchdown, Malcolm Lewis. Lewis is first of the season, gives Miami the lead. Beautiful job by Malcolm Lewis. Getting them both down. Most important part of playing quarterback is confidence. Right there, Malcolm Lewis fakes like he's gonna block. Have a little bit of a play action fake. The safety triggers up and over the top. That's a difficult throw because you don't have a lot of room as a quarterback and you don't have a lot of time. Malcolm Lewis is gonna run out of space very quickly. Perfectly executed at the perfect time. Pick up the first down. Maybe a run it with Howard here. He's going to throw it on third down. In trouble. Look out. And here he comes. Joe Jackson. Stepping out. With another sack. Joe Jackson, the true freshman from Homestead, Florida, has been a terror the second half of the season. He now has eight and a half sacks. Here he is. Joe Jackson. This was not a guy we spent a lot of time talking about when we did Miami games early in the season. But my goodness, has he come on. And Miami uses one of those timeouts to stop the clock with give him in Morgantown for that. Well, it happened this year, get off to a great start, and instead they win 10 games. Oh, dangerous throw that Coley catches. That was almost picked off by Justin Arn and would have been going the other way. Yeah, and Miami now. Clock about to run once again, trying to steal some points. Obviously, don't need a touchdown before the end of half, but be smart about what your field goal kicker's range is. Kaya's dealing right now. First down, it's Berrios inside the 40 at the 39. Their kicker, Michael Badgley's career long is 57 yards, so they're in that range right now with 50 seconds to go. Kaya again a strike. Good protection for Kaya. Lewis with the catch. Clock will stop to reset the chains. West Virginia's opted to drop back, drop eight guys into the passing windows. But right here, you might think some pressure. Here it comes. And Kaya gonna take a shot. Open man, touchdown, Barrios. Brad Kaya has been perfect here in the second quarter. Three touchdowns. That for 26 yards. Outstanding job by Brad Kaya. Operating the two-minute offense. Knowing you don't have any timeouts. You can't take any sacks. Ball has to get out. When he got close to field goal range, you knew that West Virginia was probably going to try to bring some pressure to knock them out. He anticipated it through a perfect touchdown over the top. Extra point makes it 21 7, 27 seconds to play till halftime. 
Excellent job by Berrios as well. Giving a little shake to the defender who's squatting because he anticipates a quick throw from Brad Kaya. Pressure coming, Brad knows it. He's got a guy coming that is not blocked. He throws it right where his receiver can get it. Outstanding execution right there between the junior quarterback and the junior wide receiver. You gotta stretch the field. Another pass play for Kaya and the other tight end, Chris Herndon, wide open. And Herndon has a first down. Defense has to get a stop. Kaya hits Richards close to another first down. Antonio Crawford, who actually played in this game as a member of the Hurricanes a few years ago, then transferred to West Virginia, made the tackle. We'll set up second and one. Another pass play for Kaya. Here's Najoku and Breaking a tackle, Najoku diving for the end zone. Touchdown! That is big and bad. Took Jared Harper for a ride and got Pater. Tackling. Defensive coordinator Tony Gibson was so concerned about it coming into tonight's game. That's now two touchdowns on seven. As a freshman, you're doing something right. Howard rolls left. He's going to take off, but there's just too much speed for Miami. Ray Sean Jenkins, the free safety, tracks him down. A loss on the play of one. Third and long. Great close by Ray Sean Jenkins. He held as long as he could as soon as he recognized that there was nowhere. Russell Shell is in the game. He's the back and gets the handoff. Nowhere to go. A loss of a yard or two. Chad Thomas going on downfield. You have to trust your receiver to get there. You got to understand and feel and it's a sixth sense. Not a lot of guys can do it. Barrios out in space and he has a first down of the 48 yard. Right in my kitchen. <laughs> Burials again out in the flat tripped up by Avery, but it's another inch of possibility. It's hard to pick against him. Kaya on second and nine drops it to Herndon and it's another first down. They haven't lost since including their thrilling win against Michigan. Here's Coley beautiful move and Coley pushed out field goal. Badgley kicking off. And Gibson decides to run it out. And he gets hammered at the 20-yard line. Wow. What a shot. Mark Walton does it as a runner, and he does it as a gunner. Wow. I know NFL executives love this, because if you're not the starting running back, you're playing special teams. Well, Mark Walton is the starting running back, still playing special teams. And laying the boom. That's how you make a roster for 12 years. That's big time right there. What a hit. Down 17, late third quarter. Howard, look out. In trouble. Swallowed at the 44. McIntosh was there first. And the Canes take over on downs. Four sacks now for Miami in the game. Manny Diaz bringing some pressure off the right-hand side. Nobody's blocking number 58, Darian Owens. He forces Howard out of the pocket, and the defensive line rallies to the spot. Manny Diaz loves it. Dana Holgerson not as fired up. Way a true freshman is in the game right now. Gets the call and gets destroyed at the line of scrimmage. And Miami just keeps it on the ground with Walton. Busts it to the outside. Lowers the shoulder. Great run by Walton. Although he hurt himself. Wow. I love Mark Walton, man. I love him as a player. Although did he just do some serious damage to his right shoulder. Certainly hope not. But the game's on the line. 
That's called finishing the run all the way through. No, Lowering I, your pad level, getting enough. Just hope he's okay. You know what I love, too? This is it. This is the last game. Beautiful run as Walton appears to be okay. Back in the game, and he's to the 15-yard line. Make as a college athlete before between your freshman and sophomore year. Hadaway is picked up and suplexed. Adrian Colbert. Wow. I mean, that's playing to the whistle, is it not? They've seen that play several times tonight. Colbert diagnosed that in a heartbeat. Petway is not going to be too. Rick will improve the 10 and 5 in bowl games. And for the first time in a decade, <laughs> Miami wins a bowl game. And one of their own is running the show. Former Kane quarterback Mark Richt saying they have this one more play. You're supposed to wait for the Gatorade shower until after the game is officially over. I think they're going to get him again. Yeah, they did. <laughs> now he'll celebrate. Now you can celebrate. <laughs> Good for them.